Hey guys, Tessa here and I'm back with Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm going to carry on from where I finished my last video. So I'm going to go back to um, the Beauty and the Beast realm and talk to the Beast um, and hopefully get him and Belle onto into my valley today. That's the plan. Humans anyway. are amazing. I um, did get changed out of my lovely Luminaire um, disguise. <laughs> um, <laughs> I logged back in and I forgot that I had it on <laughs> last time and I, I did all my... Um, and when I played um, after my last video, I just left it on and I was doing things around my valley. And then I logged in and... Um, yeah, I realised I still had it on, so I was like, I better um, better change out of that. <laughs> uh, right, so I've got to find the beast. Uh, where is he? Is he up here? I'm guessing it's in here. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, you seem deep in thought. Oh. You and Belle showed me kindness even though I lost my temper. I want to give her a gift, something to show I'm trying to change. Mm -hmm. Tessa, will you, will you help me? I thought you'd never ask, that's what friends are for. By singing a duet about forgiveness? <laughs> that's what friends oh. are for. Friends, I, I'm glad you consider me a friend. I suppose you've gotten to know Belle. What do you think she would like? How about flowers? Maybe some chocolates? Talk to her. Uh, how about flowers? That's too simple. She could find them for herself in the garden or the greenhouse. Perhaps I could... No. No, I shouldn't. Sounds like you have an idea. Let's hear it. I have an enchanted mirror that can show us the perfect gifts for Belle. But I need your help to get it. I was using the mirror too often to watch the outside world, so I locked it away and broke the key into three pieces. On my command, Lumiere hid the pieces of the key. Then he decides to make me a treasure hunt to find the pieces, with riddles. I'm no good at riddles. <laughs> treasure hunt? Riddles? I'm in. Hand them over, I've got this. Riddles? No. <laughs> Uh, treasure hunt, riddles, I'm in. I'm not that good at riddles, but I love a good treasure hunt. Uh, you find this exciting? That's helpful. Mm -hmm. Please search the castle using the clues to find the pieces of the key. When you have them all, come back to me. We'll open the chest and use the mirror. Um, good luck. Okay. Oh, treasure hunt. This is very nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> right, okay. Hidden in a hot place. Hidden in a place where silence roars. Hidden in a thorny place. Okay, so silence roars. Library. Hot place. Hot place. Kitchen. I don't know. Okay, let's... um. Let's go on the hunt. Yeah, I'm not brilliant at riddles, but I absolutely love treasure hunts and things like this. Um, I'm just not that good at them, <laughs> unfortunately. Right, okay, where are we? I get lost in this place. Okay, a thorny place. Okay, so that'll be Rose Garden. Is there a Rose Garden here anywhere? Some roses. Ah, these roses. Okay. Looking for something sparkly, I guess. Ooh. Is that a. Ah, oh no, that's a. Okay. The exhausted young woman fell asleep in her home with the thorn, thorn wounds burning. When she awoke, she was transformed. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, thorny place. It's got to be here somewhere, hasn't it? Right, okay. My 
I'm just being... Maybe I'm being a bit silly. Ah! Oh. Ah, do I need to dig? Yay! Okay, good. Right, hidden in a place where silence roars and hidden in a hot place. Well, silence roars... See, I would say, like, maybe the library, because when you're silent, like, you have to be silent in the library. Oh, what's down here? Can I go down here? Oh, I can't get in there. Okay, science balls and a hot place. Hot place makes me think maybe like the fireplace, but. roars makes me think of I can hear something I heard something Hidden in a place where silence falls. I told you I was no good at riddles. <laughs> oh dear. And uh, these aren't even, they're not even going to be hard riddles, are they? Um, This would be a hot place, wouldn't it? I don't need to hold my cat to put it in. Oh! I do! <gasps> oh, I figured that out all by myself! I'm actually quite proud of myself for that! <laughs> okay, so... Silence rules. Again, I think the library, because it you know, you're meant to be silent in the library, but I have no idea where. There wouldn't be two in the same place, would there? Okay, silence, why silence walls? I honestly have no idea. Back up to the west wing, isn't it? Um, Oh, that's where the mirror is. Okay. I get it. Um, right, where silence rules. Silence rules. I can't get, I can't get library out of my head. But there's been one in the fireplace, so I wouldn't have thought that there's one in the library. I can 
hear something. I can hear like the sparkly noise. <laughs> it's a technical term that is sparkly noise. I need like a another tool. I think I need a fishing rod, do I? Just thinking if I had to use my tools on, on the other one, I need to use a tool on this one. Hearing the noise, which makes me think it's nearby. I think maybe I need to move like a pile of books or something. But I don't know. Oh, um, no idea. Silence. Um, I don't think it's in here because I don't think you'd have two pieces of the keys in the same room. But I just don't know. Uh, what's the thing? What's the book thing that I've already. That's outside to the garden, so it's not out there. Um. Roars. Ah, oh, lion. Ah, oh, is that the is that the key? Is that the key? Is it on the other one? Uh, how do I? Uh, that is, isn't it? That's the. How do I get it? Uh, okay. Ah. Oh. Yay! Oh no, I ruined the beautiful lion statue though. That's sad. I'm sad that I had to do that. But silence roars. The statue. Obviously. It's so obvious now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you found all the pieces of the key. Thank you. I'll put them back together. Good. Would you take this key and get the enchanted mirror out of the chest? If I try, I might break something. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Sounds a bit scary. Uh, okay. Here you go, one enchanted mirror. Oh. Thank you. I'll show you how it works. Thank hmm. Hmm. Hello. Okay, let's review what we saw in the mirror. Bell surrounded by lots of loose paper with writing all over. The pages were everywhere. Oh, have I got to go around and pick up all the bits of the story? I think Belle is writing stories. Hmm. Maybe we could create something to collect her stories together. We're on the right track. How about an enchanted folder? Who knew she was so messy? Oh. <laughs> Please, don't. <laughs> it was a great joke. Hmm. What we need is a gift. You must have some idea. What about a journal with a quill and some ink? A nice book kit. That way she can write her stories all in one place. That would be perfect, but... I wouldn't know where to find those things in the castle. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I can get those things for you, no problem. I am glad you've come here. I'll head to the valley to get the supplies we need. The valley? What valley? 
It's where I'm from. Val really wants to visit it with you. <clears throat> she said that? Yes. Just think about it, okay? I'll go make Val's book kit. Goodbye. Oh, okay. I thought I'd have to go around and get all of those. Um, uh, all of the bits of paper and that, but not at the moment I don't have to. I might have to at some point, though. Right, okay, let's go back and get fibre and an empty vial and whatever else it is. Ask a villager for a feather. Oh, okay. I guess that'll be Donald asking for a feather, I guess. Right down the stairs. Oh, I've got to make quite a bit of fibre. I don't know how much um, seaweed I have. Is it seaweed? I think it's seaweed for fibre. Uh, right, empty vial. Can't remember what I need for the empty vial either. Okay, let's um, let's go into. How about Ooh, a wee bit of conversation? Good day to you, Tessa. Uh, it's in the sky. Hey, Mr. McDuck, can I have a feather? It's for Belle and the Beast. It will bring a royal customer to the valley. I'm getting ready for a tickle fight. <laughs> Ooh, it will bring a royal customer to the valley. Uh, Hi, I heard you went through the realm door to see Belle and his highness. Those two have certainly been missed around here. See you'll help. It's just one tinsy feather. <laughs> Name your price. Sorry. I think they'll be great customers. It's just one teensy pen. For them and for you, Tezza, this one's on house McDuck. Aww. I found a real beauty under my chair in my office. I must have shed it when I was tallying the accounts last night. Hello. Missed Scrooge McDuck giving something Goodbye, for free. Now. Okay. Well, he must be in a good mood. That was all that tallying last night. He must have done well done so well in the shop he can, he can give me a feather for free <laughs> right hey over here okay fiber i need 20 okay i think we have a lot of fun um, a lot of seaweed ah okay what do i need for the vial oh glass which means I have enough. Oh, I do have enough. Sand. Good. And the uh, Is that everything I need? Yep, right. Craft the book kit. Bring the book kit to beast. Right, back up the steps. We go. Right. Bring the book. Oops. Bring the book kept to the book. Give that to him. I'm glad you're I'm sure here. Belle will like this, Tezza. Thank you, but I've been thinking. A gift isn't an apology. During our disagreement, I yelled and broke things. 
How could she ever forgive such a monster? You're not a monster. Let's show her your best side. Time for a self-esteem boosting makeover. <laughs> You're not a monster. Did you ever consider that having all these big feelings, sadness, care, and even guilt is really compassionate? Oh. No. Well, it is. And Belle sees that in you. I'm sure of it. Let's get you cleaned up for your apology. It will help. Where's your grooming stuff? I, I don't know. I haven't cared about that in so long. Don't worry. I'll look around and find your grooming items in no time. I just need to find princely shampoo, princely cologne, and a brush. <laughs> okay. Well, here's something. Okay, cologne. Uh, need to find. Brush. And shampoo. Oh. Well, they were all very conveniently close, so that's good. There you are. <laughs> I like his finger movements when you give it. It looks really You're funny. Here. here you go. One polished and perfumed prince coming right up. You look great, beast. How do you feel? <laughs> Better? But what if I say the wrong thing to her? Then all this is for nothing. You won't, because you're going to rehearse your apology. <sighs> How? Like this. I'll be Belle and you be you. I'm upset with you. You hurt my feelings. You look so fuzzy and cuddly today. <laughs> ah, you hurt my feelings. Okay. But, but, you were the one who broke the rules. You were looking at the painting. Deep breath. Try not to get defensive, okay? You're right. Can we start again? Okay, it's me, Belle. What did you want to talk about? Belle. I was very angry when I saw you staring at the painting, but, deep breath, I shouldn't have frightened you or lost my temper. Oh. I'm sorry. That was great. I'm so proud of you. A few tears and this will be perfect. <laughs> that was great. Really? You think she will accept my apology? You're ready. Let's go find Belle. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right. Listen to... Beast's apology to Belle in the garden. Oh, okay. In the garden. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Belle, I'm sorry for losing my temper. I should have asked why you were there so we could talk about it. Thank you for saying that. Didn't mean to upset you. I was just trying to understand more about you. You can ask me anything, but first, this is for you, for your writings. Oh. A journal. Oh, it's wonderful. Thank you. I'll use it to write about all of our adventures. In fact, do you think it might be time to have our next adventure? I would like that. Oh, talk to that. Tessa, the beast just gave me the nicest apology and a wonderful journey for my writing. You've done so much for us already, but I have one more favour to ask you. Anything, just name it, go on. Does it require me dressing up as a teapot? <laughs> I could be Mrs. Potts. <laughs> Anything, just name it. You've mentioned that we might visit your village. Aww. 
It sounds like a marvellous adventure the Beast and I could have together. Would there be a place for us to stay while we're there? Of course, I can make sure of that. It'll just take me a little a little time. Thank you. Please come back soon. I can't wait to visit such a fascinating place. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, you know, your fur looks very shiny today. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I like seeing their conversations. Do you think that the village will accept me? I hope so. If you'd prefer, I could check and make sure. Oh, does that mean Belle's going to come on her own and then I'm going to have to come back and get the beast? Ugh. Right, place the beast's castle in Dreamlight Valley. Oh, it's going to be huge, isn't it? It's going to be huge. I'm going to run out of space. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> just realised. Going the wrong way. Oh, it's going to be a really big castle, isn't it? Where am I going to put the beast? I actually have no idea. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to put the beast's castle. Oh, it's just going to end up plonked somewhere, wherever I can fit it. Right, um, where do I want the beast? Um, so I think, I'm thinking either the forest or the glade would be quite nice. Um, but the forest has the Arna's castle, met, like right? the um, Arna's house, which is like a castle. This is Maybe a the really glade. amazing place. Not really much room in much room here. Do I really do I want the beast's castle in the glade done? Um I mean where could it go? So I'd want it out of the way somewhere. But there's not gonna be enough room over here. Because ideally it could go over here in this corner. But that's not gonna work, is it? It's not gonna happen. Um, right, let's, let's get it out and see how big it actually is, and then cry because it's not going to fit anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's not going to fit. It's huge. It's, it's really, really, really big. Big. Okay. Um. Oh God. Ooh, where am I gonna put it? Is it gonna go up the back here? Mm. Not like fit. Uh. Okay, well the forest has got a lot of room. I would have to move stuff though. Go. Right, where am I? That's the bit down to the beach, isn't it? So I want to put it there. Um, I could put it across here somewhere. Corner here near Alpha. But I kind of feel like he'd be best off like there, maybe. Yeah, I think. Okay, I think what I need to do is move all of these trees. Oh dear, right, okay, I'm not 
good at doing this on the switch at all. Right. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to uh, move everything I need to, will I? Uh, let's, let's have a go. Let's have a look. Can I move? Oh, I can move the rocks. Okay. Let's just move the rocks over here, out the way. Oh, but I think the pillar might be in the way, might it? Um... Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> oh dear, it takes me longer to place anything than it does do anything else. Right, so yeah, it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. And either is it? Hang on, right. I can't move whatever that little thing is there. Can't move the pillar either, can I? Ooh! Oh! Okay, I can move the pillar. That'll make it so much easier. Okay, I'm going to move the pillar uh, just like there. Okay, that might fit there now, then. Um, right, where's the... Oh. What are them little bits? I need to zoom in. <laughs> I need to zoom in to see them. Okay, that. Then you just go, like, over there. And there was something else in here. What was it? Ah, that. I can't move that. What am I moving? Oh, the path. I can't move that. Oh! That is not... That's... That is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, right, let's let's get up to the. Let me just quickly go to the forest. Let me use the well. I keep forgetting about the well. I went round and opened them all up, and then I forget to actually use the fast travel. Right. Let's actually go here and see what I can do. Right. So where is it? I wanted it. Over here, isn't it? Uh, where am I? Yeah, so it, yeah, it was in this in this corner here, over here. Right. Okay. So that I can pick up. That I can pick up. Oh, okay, it was a night zone. I can get rid of that. That's fine. Oh, I did that. Right. Huh. Kind of relieved there are so many okay, nice so people. Okay, so it's that there. I can't move, but I don't know if that was... I don't think that was the thing that was in the way. Right, okay, let's have another go. Okay, can I go back any more at all? A little bit? Ooh, okay. 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 I'm gonna just move that tree. No, actually, I will leave that tree. I will just put it over a little bit. Okay. Right. Yes. Where has it gone? I want it over slightly. Over. Can it go? Can 
to go this way a bit more. Just like a, a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, I'm no good, I'm really no good at this. Right, I want it to go. And then it needs to go, needs to go this way. Uh, right, no, that's too far because that'll block off the, that'll get rid of that tree, won't it? So I want it just this way a tiny bit, but I can't, can't seem to get it to go like a, <laughs> right, I want it there. Is that still going to get rid of that tree? Yeah, it got rid of the tree. Okay, so maybe I might as well just put it right in the corner. Okay. Right. Good. Let's unlock that then. Oh, greetings, neighbour. <laughs> okay, so he's in the forest, which... I don't mind at the minute. I think I will probably, um, that's fine. I will probably move it at some point, but wow. Okay. Welcome Bell. Okay. She is. Why is she reading a book? That'll do. She looked up. That'll do. <laughs> okay, good. Right, let's just talk to her then. Oh, it's all starting to come back to me. Ooh. Merlin's library. The wonderful food at Chet Remy. Our friends and adventures. I'm so glad your memories are coming back, Val. Tezza, will you please take this note to the beast? He stayed back. Uh, sorry. He, say, he stayed behind because he was unsure about the village. This will reassure him that he can join me here without any problems. Okay. Thank you very much. Talk to Val. Talked about. Bring Belle's note to the beast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. It was just catching up. Do I smell? It was just catching up. <laughs> right, let's get back to the beast and give him Belle's note. And hopefully, I might be able to get. Um, might be able to get the beast to the valley today as well. Hopefully. Oops. There he is. Do you want to give these items? Yes, I do. Hello. A note from Belle. It says she's very happy in the valley and she wants me to join her. Hmm. Don't doubt yourself now. You'll fit right in there. Don't be scared. You'll fit right in there. Everyone in the village is a little different. That's why it's special. And you'll be there too. Of course. Whenever you need me. All right. Show me I'm ready. Good Yay! Night. Well, that was easy. Okay, what's happening? Um, I don't know if my switch is just... Oh, there you go. I, was, <laughs> I don't know what was happening. <laughs> Yay, the beast! Yay! Oh, <laughs> look at my eyes! 
face. <laughs> oh, that was an awful picture. Can we speak? Okay, let's just quickly talk to the beast then. Okay, I I do remember this place, but it seems different. The forgetting changed a lot, but I know in time you'll feel okay here again. Thank you, Tezza. I must find Val. I will never forget what you've done for us. Your kindness will not be forgotten. Okay, Prince in Disguise is done. Right, okay, forgotten relics. Yep, I don't want to do that at the minute. Okay, so I have got a couple of quests that I can just quickly sort of do a little bit more to, seeing as I've got a little bit of time. So there's one, this one. Oh yeah, I made the Arendelian fish pie and I made the pickled herring. Um, so I will do that. And I can't remember where he said to get um, worms from. So I might have to go and um, talk to Goofy about eels again and see what he says about the worms because I can't remember um, and that I can't remember the riddle either and that one I've just got to return the borrowed spell book to Minnie um, and that one I've just got to get those things so there's there's a lot I can do quickly just to get rid of some of these or at least get a bit further in them. So let's go and find Elsa. So where is Elsa? Uh, not actually sure. Just seeing if she was in this group here, this pile of people. <laughs> but no. Uh, right, okay, she's not. She's not there. Oh, there she is, in the meadow. Okay, let's... Oh, wrong way. Let's go down to the meadow and see her. Yes, I can really dig my claws. Um, she was over here, wasn't she? Near the little pond. Yeah, there she Hello. is. Hello, could you possibly lend me a hand? Hello. I love Elsa. She's so nice. Every time I run past, she's the only one that does well, not the only one, but one of the very Hello. few that doesn't annoy me every time I run past her. <laughs> Thank you, Tessa. The dishes look wonderful. <laughs> now let's see how they taste. <gasps> that was delicious. The dishes remind me both of Arendelle and the friendship I found here. Yeah. Hmm, that sound that's been calling to me, I hear it again, and more memories are coming back to me. Before I left to go back to the enchanted forest, I helped you bury something, a chest near the ice cavern. But I can't remember what's inside. I think we should go and get it. Okay. So I guess... Okay, I need to go back to her ice cavern and pick up the chest. Excuse me. Hello? Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, some of them, um, when I run past, just annoy me a little bit. Um, Vanellope. I don't know why. I I don't like her. She screams at me. And it's just like, just, just no. <laughs> but um, Elsa's always so kind and lovely. Right, okay. Uh, near the ice cabin. A chest near the ice cabin. Uh, there. Ooh, what have I got? Extra pickled herring. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I remember now. 
Oh. You wanted to create a treasure hunt. We each hid something special from our past around the village. Uh -huh. And I suppose this is what I chose to hide. Uh -huh. <laughs> Goodness, this Arendelian pickled herring must be very strong by now. Here, you should have a jar. After all, you help me find the chest again. Thanks, I can't wait to taste mine. I wonder if it's not too strong. Yeah. Oh, hell, hello, food poisoning. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Oh, and before you go, I've been thinking about the new purple crest. Huh? It looks almost identical to the one we found before. I'm certain it will fit into another one of those holes in the wall of the ice cavern. Ah, okay. So I guess I have to go and put that in the... That I had to put a was over here. Uh, that's over here. Oops. Excuse me, I need your help. Right, return to Elsa. Oh, don't walk away. I'm trying to Hi talk there. to you. <laughs> Thank you for all your help, Tessa. It's so nice to have a little piece of Arendelle here and to, rem to remember my past in the village. <laughs> You're welcome to come and share Arendelian pickled herring with me whenever you'd like. I'm looking forward to exploring more of the village mm. and, of course, solving the mystery of the cave. We're still missing two crests, but I'm sure we can find them together. You know, there's something magical about Okay, complete. Okay, so, uh, quest, so, so I've still got to complete more quests with, um, yeah, Mickey, Elsa, Scar, and Moana. Okay, so, right, I've got to talk to Malin about the other sock. And return borrowed spellbook to Minnie. Okay, so Minnie and Merlin, I've got to find. Right, let's go out then. Oh, gone the wrong way. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Right, okay, uh, Minnie and Merlin, isn't it, that I'm looking for? Just want to... Right, I need to go over here. I want to go and look inside, um, Beast's Castle quickly. I'm intrigued as to what it looks like inside. Mrs. Potts tea set. Wow. Harp. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, and they like the stained glass. Oh, that's nice. It's like, yeah, Mel and the rose. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Right, let's um, let's go and find uh, Millie. Uh, no, Minnie, <laughs> Minnie and Merlin. <laughs> Minnie and Merlin got muddled in my head, so I ended up saying Millie. <laughs> Minnie and Merlin. Okay. There's Minnie. So let's just give her her book back. Oh, 
Hey Minnie, I found this book lying around in the plaza. I thought it might have been Merlin's, but it's got notes in your handwriting stuck inside it. Oh, thank you. I've been looking for that everywhere. What were you doing with a spell book? Oops. <laughs> Press A. Oh no, not at all. I borrowed some books from Merlin because, well, I wanted to find out everything I could about what happened to me. What happened to you? You mean when you... When I disappeared to the here and there? I've been having some trouble sleeping. I'm just so worried it might happen again. Well, what do you know? I'm sorry you're feeling that way. You don't need to worry about that. I'll never let it happen to you again. Don't need to worry about that. Well, it's not, not me I'm worried about. If I could disappear, then anyone could. Some, sometimes I look at the other villagers and I'm frightened they're starting to disappear right before my eyes. I just know there has to be an answer somewhere in Merlin's library. There must be some way we can get, we can make sure no one ever disappears again. But I can't make head of, head, heads or tails of any of these books. I'll go talk to Merlin and see if he has any ideas we have to solve this. I want you to feel safe here, Minnie. We can't have people just disappear. The next person who disappears could be me. I want you to feel safe. You're so kind, Tessa, and I do, mostly. I was trying to figure all this out without bothering Merlin, but you're probably right. We should ask him for more help. I'll keep trying to see if there's anything in these books that might be a clue while you talk to Merlin. How sweet. Okay, so I've got to, got to find Merlin and talk to him about two different things. Ah, there he is. Oh, Over here. On. We've got to talk. <laughs> yes, yes, there you are. Good. I kinda need okay, help. so right, let's go built to destroy first, give him the sock. Well now, what do you have there, Tessa? Oh. Goodness gracious, my sock. I've been looking for this everywhere. What a mess. A dear friend conjured these for me long ago. They're my most treasured pair. A uh, cherished pair, sorry, I said treasured. I said um, instead of cherished. <laughs> when I hold them close, well, I can almost remember her face. Wait a moment. It looks like this sock has been a bit slobbered upon. Sorry about that, wasn't me. It's space alien slobber. <laughs> I, 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 I should hope uh, not. I would be a bit concerned that forgetting had gotten to you too if you were chewing on socks. There's someone going around stealing everybody's stuff and dropping it everywhere. You might have heard Donald talking about it. Hmm, yes, I have heard him going on about ex extraterrestrials for some sort of sort of. <laughs> but we have enough magical muddles around here without worrying about that. So do you think Donald's quacking up the wrong tree? <laughs> or have you noticed anything else going <laughs> missing? Now that you mention it, someone's been pilfering books and causing a great commotion in the Dreamlight Library. Hmm. Maybe I can find a clue in there. I can thank you. You're very kind. Okay. Ah, Tessa. I believe I know precisely why you've come to speak to me today. It's Minnie, isn't it? She's gotten herself in quite a jumble, worrying she might disappear again, hasn't she? It's Minnie, all right. She asked me to come talk to you. We need a wizard for this. She didn't want to bother you, you know, since you're Mr. Magic Guy. <laughs> she didn't want to bother curious. you. Nonsense. She could never be bothered. I'm happy to assist in such matters. Is there anything in your magic books that might help? Actually, I've given it quite a lot of careful thought, and I think I know precisely how we can fix this predicament. Yes. <laughs> we'll use the most powerful kind of magic there is. First, you'll need to speak to some villagers and ask them what they like best about Minnie. Hmm. Maybe I should ask Elsa, Anna and Moana. And listen closely, this part is key. Once you've spoken to them, you must bring me some dream shards. What nonsense! With all that, we can sort out Minnie's dilemma, or at least, I very much hope we can. But I couldn't have done better myself! Oh. 
Okay, so, um, oh, wrong button. Right, so, okay, the mini, mini thing, I've just got to talk to, talk to Moana, Anna and Elsa and get the dream shards. Okay, Remy, examine, examine the list Mickey gave you, okay. Um, craft the icy enchantment. Oh yeah, I'm guessing that gets rid of the little um, bits of green fire in the um, in Forgotten Land. So that'd be good. Oh yes, I've got the candy canes for us. I planted the um, the candy that Vanellope gave me, and it turned into candy cane sprouts. So I could just go and give those to her actually. Where is she? I mean, she usually shouts at me before I even get really close to her, so... Um, I'm sure she's here somewhere. Uh, Vanellope, where is she gone? She's not there, is she? Um... I can't see her. Um. Oh, she's all the way up there, look. Okay. Let's use... Let's use the well. Quickly go and give those to Penelope. Oh, white white flowers, I've got to make sure I pick all the white flowers for the um, for the uh, oh she's coming down now, if I go to that one I might catch her um, yeah for the um, star path duty I need white, white flowers Right, okay, yeah, there she is, right, showing at me. <laughs> Hello! There you go, there's your candy cane sprouts. Hey, these candy cane sprouts look great. Okay, stand back. I learned this trick back in Sugar Rush. Ta-da! Now you can decorate round my house with these candy cane trees. I also found you some more stuff to make things extra sweet. Take these giant lollipops and this sugar cookie pavement too. We should put up at least half the decorations around my house. Oh, and make a racetrack. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh gosh, she's giving me loads. Okay, so what? Deluxe sugar cookie pavement. Oh, I've actually got to put it all down. Oh. I've got to make that part of my meadow all like sweets and stuff. <laughs> okay, well, I think I will do that next time. Um, or in the meantime, uh, between now and my next video, I um, yeah, I might see if I can move her house somewhere else. I don't really want all the um, sweet stuff there, but I don't know where else I could put it. But I might, I might give it some thought and see what else I can come up with. See if I can come up with a a plan for an area that won't look too bad, being sweets and things. Maybe I don't know. I'll see. I'll have a think about it. But anyway. Um, I'm going to wrap up the video here because it's now about an hour. So um, yeah, we got Beauty, uh, we got Belle, and the Beast, which is brilliant because now I can do those um, duties for the Star Path. So I will have those done, and then I'll just have to um, go to the Monsters Inc. realm, okay. possibly the next nice. video. Um, to get them 
but I'll see I'll see what I get done in the meantime and um, yeah I uh, should be able to get a few more a few more duties done so that'd be good so thank you very much for watching and if you'd like to continue watching and see what else I get up to in Disney Dreamlight Valley then please subscribe and make sure you click the notifications on and you'll get notified every time I upload a video and I will hopefully be back again soon so thanks again for watching and I'll see you all again soon bye bye